Hello everyone and welcome to this latest episode of Do You Cook English? I'd like to start today by introducing myself. My name is Anna, as you may already know, and I am the language instructor for today. However, before introducing you to this week's chef and also to this week's recipe, I'd like to say a couple of things about this week's language point, which is, as you may have guessed, how to present yourself, how to present other people, and also how to present ideas in English. Something which I've been doing for the whole series so far. There are no fixed rules for introducing yourself, for introducing others or ideas in English, but we will be showing you lots of examples today. But remember, don't forget to put them into practice afterwards. Presenting yourself. For example, formal ways are, please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Anna. Or, excuse me, I don't think we've met yet. I am Anna. Or, I would like to start by introducing myself. I am Anna. Less formal ways of presenting yourself. Hi, I'm Anna, pleased to meet you. Hello, my name is Anna. Or, I don't think we've met, I'm Anna. Presenting other people. For example, the formal way to present other people could be, I would like to introduce you to Tim. Or, please allow me to present you Julie. Or, may I introduce you to Jessica. Less formal ways of presenting to other people. For example, this is Susie. I don't think you know Jake. Do you know Jessica? Presenting ideas and information. For example, the more formal ways would be, I would like to make a suggestion, please. Or, may I just say a few words about, or we could look at other possible solutions, such as. Finally, could I draw your attention to? Less formal ways of presenting ideas and information are, what if we, how about, let's have a look at, or do you know about? Presenting other things. More formal way. I would like to show you. If you would be kind enough to let me demonstrate, or please could you take a look at. Less formal ways are, have a look at this. Let me show you. I want you to look at. So, please allow me to introduce our chef today. This is Marie, and she is from the Cercle Culinaire de France. We have met Marie before, but nice to see you again, Marie. Hello, Anna. Hi. Alors, j'ai quelques suggestions à vous faire pour la recette d'aujourd'hui. Ah ah, I think what Marie just said there was that she has some suggestions for today's recipe. So, let's have a look and let's get going. First, we would like to show you how to prepare this recipe. Please allow me to present to you our recipe today, which is tartelette de foie gras avec nougatine. First, spread out the pastry and then cut into four circles large enough to line the tart tins. Then, pierce the pastry with a fork. Then, add some greaseproof paper and weigh down with beans or cherry pips. Then, you blind bake in the oven at 180 degrees centigrade or gas mark 6 for 10 minutes. Remove the weights and the paper and then pop this back in the oven for a further 5 minutes. Now let us show you how to prepare the nougatine. First, melt the sugar along with 10 centiliters of water on a low heat until caramelized. When the caramel is golden, add in the flaked almonds and mix well. Then stir until the nougatine is lukewarm then pour onto a worktop or chopping board. You then roll with a rolling pin. Finally, break the nougatine into small pieces. Once the tarts have cooled, add the onion confit, a slice of foie gras, a piece of nougatine and some ground pepper. Then just enjoy. I'd now like to present les tartelettes de foie gras. They look delicious, don't they? Have a look at these, everyone. So, that's the end of this week's episode of Do You Cook English? And I would also like to suggest that you continue to practice introducing yourself, introducing others, and also introducing different ideas regularly. Remember, 
practice makes perfect. Could I also draw your attention to the fact that you can find us on Facebook and Twitter and please feel free to send us a photo of the result of your attempt at making foie gras tatelette. Okay, and so until next time from both of us, bye! bye.